Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I know I've not posted for a while but like I said last time I don't think you want to just see me doing the same things over and over again do you? But I thought I'd better post one. So I've got stuff everywhere, that much stuff everywhere that I'm having to make and stick my flowers on the drawers that I'm wanting to do. So uh, it's just a small set of three drawers nothing special laminate i've just painted them in like a beigey gray kind of color and i thought i'd do uh, some stencils i was going to use a few stencils and then i came to me winter blooms one and i thought you know what i've not used this for that long and it's like one of one of my favorites which i would kind of forgotten about so I thought yes we'll use this one so this is the winter blooms and I'm just gonna as you know no rhyme or reason I just stick them on wherever I fancy I've also brought in the latest one that I've got the Etruscan rose so I thought we'd add some of their flowers in as well and all I'm using today is flour i've run out of talc so i've got flour in my little pot to demold i'm using gorilla wood glue to stick on which i always put on wet i never do it dry and i'm using the das air dry clay crikey me it's very warm here lately guys it's killing me. I can't. I can't denote. <laughs> I feel like an old man. I'm sat here doing this for sober. We're wet towel round my neck. God, aren't we? Aren't we crap? I dread to think what would be like if we're in your in all these other countries where you like this all the time. I don't think I'd ever venture out again. I hope you're all doing okay and everyone's staying fine and safe we had uh, the so-called freedom day yesterday so everything's opened up and you know we're all back to normal now apparently so nothing's ever happened well, I'm not going to get started on that one I shall still be wearing my mask and keeping my distance, so. Mind you, I did have to go out shopping yesterday and I did notice that most people were still wearing the mask. It was only the young ones, you know, the early 20s, that wasn't. So I thought, well, you know, get on with it, sort of thing. Cracking, just like that, it's done. Before I started editing this video, it was, uh, I think it was 1 hour 48, and you're going to get it all done in 12 minutes. It's great, isn't it, what editing can do. So, I did all this, put it all back in the drawers, and I was looking at it, and I really like how, when it starts to dry in certain places, it goes like a grey colour. And I was like, hmm. -mm. I might not paint this one. I wonder what I've never not painted one. And then I got to the side and I thought, well, we'll carry on with doing just a bit up the side as well. So
Oh, and there she goes. <laughs> oh. You know what, I really like how this one turned out. It's got to be one of my favourites with the colourings and what have you. And I've not had one single inquiry on it. Strange, isn't it? Uh, you really like something and obviously nobody else does. And it certainly isn't expensive. I wish it was. Oh, and that's another one gone. You see, they're fine. If you, can, if you can, when you're doing these, I'd always recommend to keep them flat until they've dried. But obviously, with doing the side, and I wanted to bring it round, you don't have much choice. It's normally the big ones. But once they start to go, they drag everything else with it. <laughs> And I've left it to dry, so that's what it looks like dry. And if you notice at the bottom, uh, I'd got carried away with myself again before filming. All I did, because I, I want to try like a natural look, because normally I just paint them all. So I've waxed them, all the flowers, as I'm <laughs> showing you here, with just uh, clear wax. And I wanted like a grey, and the only grey that I'd got is all grey which you like do bits for outside with but I thought well you know use what you've got so all I did was uh, put a couple of squirts of water into the lid and a couple of dabs of the paint so it's more of a wash and then I'm just going round it all and then I shall wipe back the excess and if you can see in the bottom right I've already done that little bit and I really liked it. So even a bit of Cooper or wood stain is is all right. And then doing it like this, or you when you wipe the top off, I just used a, a damp rag. And then you just wipe the excess off and it leaves the colour all in the all in the details. And I've not done it like this before and I, I really do quite like it. I normally just paint over and then highlight it with one of the um, acrylics that I use. And like I say, it's got to be one of my favourite ones. For colouring and stuff that I've done and I've not had one question on it which is typical And obviously you can add as much or as little as you want if you want more detailing and you can make your you can add less water so it's a more intense colour. I think I did um, like a, a spray of water to two dabs of paint for this kind of colour.
and as you can see on the side obviously that I've not done yet how much of a difference it actually makes and it's all protected because I've already waxed it so I don't think it's got it's going to be going anywhere but it really does just, just bring it I know I'm going on but I really do like it sorry for the noise that's the dog I don't know what she's up to I'm sat on the bed editing and she's under the bed scratching away at the carpet for whatever reason what are you doing Eleanor oh god she's trying to climb into <laughs> I've got a big bag under the bed that I keep all the blankets in and she's trying to climb in the bag with the blankets god have you ever known a dog so stupid so yeah I'm, ju <laughs> I'm just showing you here obviously the difference of how it is and then it's all done lovely I'm really happy with this one but don't forget if you liked it please do like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one hopefully it'll be a bit quicker than the last one but that's it all done okay take care guys see you soon